Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you how we transitioned our baby from the bassinet to the crib. The whole process was pretty seamless and surprisingly easy. So I wanted to sit down and just share my experience with you and some tips and tricks if you're brand new here. My name is Erica. I have a three-year-old toddler and an almost eight-month-old baby. I can't believe it. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into it. I will say from the get-go, we used a smart bassinet. We used the Snoo. However, if you did not have a smart bassinet or you're not using a smart bassinet, not using the Snoo, don't worry. I still think a lot of these tips and I I'm hoping that my experience will still be beneficial for you. I think that a lot of the things that we did can apply to any bassinet and any transition from bassinet to crib. I will do a whole separate review video on the snoo and whether or not I recommend it. I won't go into all of that now, otherwise we'll be here for a long time. Um, so the first thing I wanted to chat about was understanding and making the decision on like what you want your child's sleeping environment to be. Do you want the same environment as you have set up now is your baby in a bassinet next to your bed and they're transitioning into their own room is your baby already in their own room and very little is changing you're just having to worry about the actual physical space they're sleeping in those are all things to keep in mind now in our particular case he was in our room in a bassinet and he transitioned into a crib in our room so the environment for him is staying sort of the same the only thing that's changing is the actual sleeping surface that he's in but keep in mind that the transition might be a little more strenuous for baby if if they're going from one room that has its own smells, its own lights, its own everything to a completely separate room. First thing we did, and this is particular specific to a smart bassinet, was place our bassinet on weaning mode. So I love the snoo. <laughs> Spoiler alert, love the Snoo. One of the cool features that comes with the Snoo via the app is weaning mode. You can turn on weaning mode and what that'll do is it'll stop the bassinet from rocking side to side, which is a feature a lot of smart bassinets do. It'll stop it rocking side to side when baby is calm and sleeping. That way they can get used to not moving while they're sleeping. So we turned on weaning mode. That meant that when Theodore would cry or get fussy, the bassinet would rock side to side until he fell asleep completely and then it would stop moving. If your bassinet has some sort of weaning feature on it because it rocks, I would highly recommend doing that a couple weeks before you transition them into a crib. It'll make the whole thing so much easier. In addition to weaning mode, we also started locking the bassinet. So I would say about a week into using weaning mode, we decided to cut all movement from the bassinet. So this is where the intersection of smart bassinet to non-smart non-smart bassinet can meet up so what we did was we would lock the snoo has a really cool feature where you can lock it on a certain level i think it goes from baseline to four for being the most rocking and the most soothing it'll do for your baby um, we would lock it on baseline so it wouldn't rock at all even if theodore you know woke up in the middle of the night was crying it wouldn't rock it would stay still it would just be on and the sound machine portion of the snoo would turn on and we could still track his sleep via the app but there would be no soothing so if you have a smart bassinet if you can get to that point that point where your bassinet is just acting as a bassinet with no rocking feature i think that that is incredibly incredibly helpful and such a huge step in transitioning them from a rocking bassinet to a still crib okay now let's chat sound machine if you are using an external sound machine so the sound machine isn't built into your bassinet then like easy peasy great all you're going to do is take it it's either staying in the same place or you're just moving it to where the crib is if you have a bassinet that has a sound machine built in now would be a great time to purchase an external sound machine and the one that we absolutely love is the hatch sound machine we started using the hatch sound machine actually right away we had Theodore's bassinet in our room and we had the hatch sound machine next to our bed and so it was something that he was pretty familiar with from the get-go and I wanted to introduce 
the hatch sound machine as quickly as possible. I actually brought it to the hospital with me. I'm now remembering that I brought it to the hospital with me because I wanted him to get used to white noise and I knew that the Snoo had the sound machine built into it. However, the sound that the Snoo has is very, is very specific to the Snoo. So it doesn't sound like your generic white noise. And so I was a little bit nervous that cutting out the Snoo sound would upset Theodore and that he'd be able to tell that like, wait a minute, where is that noise that I'm very used to? Now, again, being that that sound is very specific to the Snoo, there's like not much that I can do. How we made that transition a little bit smoother was that when we started weaning him off the snoo so when we put on the weaning mode um eventually when we locked the snoo i put the hatch sound machine near his bassinet that way he could start to get used to the white noise of the hatch machine and even though he was still listening to the sound from the snoo if that makes sense so when it was time to fully transition him from the snoo and he wasn't hearing the white noise from the snoo, he was at least familiar with the white noise from the hatch machine. So that is something I would definitely keep in mind if you're not using a white noise machine at all, um, but you're looking to get one, I would highly recommend the hatch. It's really great. So something that I wanted to do for Theodore when placing him in the crib so that it felt a little bit more like the bassinet was when I put him down in those first few times in the crib, I put him down kind of close to the bars. Now, the reason I put him close to the edge of the crib was so that he could feel the presence of the crib. We did not have anything in our crib. We don't have any crib bumpers. We don't have any blankets, stuffed animals, nothing. But I wanted him to feel the boundary of the crib just so that he could feel that something was there. Because you can imagine like a baby going from being in a bassinet to being in a very like tight sort of enclosed space to all of a sudden sleeping in like this what feels to them like a vast landscape. I didn't want him to feel overwhelmed by oh my gosh like all of a sudden I have all this room and I'm flailing. So something that worked for Theodore was placing him a little bit closer to the edge of the crib that way if he stuck his arm out he could feel the bars of the crib um, he could just feel the presence of the boundary of the crib and just feel like the space wasn't so big another thing that we did to just familiarize Theodore with his crib was before I started putting him down in the crib for naps and for bedtime there were a couple days where I sat him in the crib with a couple of his toys just to get him used to the crib in general just to like hi this is your new sleeping space and he's just a baby but I did explain to him like this is your crib this is where you're gonna be sleeping and this is where you're, like this is gonna be the transition from bassinet to crib and obviously I don't know if any of that like if he digested any of that but I do think it helped in just getting him familiar with the space I did not keep any of those toys in the crib when he was eventually using the crib for sleeping. For a couple days, I let him just sit in the crib with a couple toys. I was sitting there with him and got him familiar with the space. Another thing I wanted to touch upon was swaddles because with the snoo, you need to use a very specific, their sleep pee, I think it's called, swaddle, sweet pee swaddle. It's a swaddle that comes with wings that clip into the snoo and engage the snoo so that you can turn it on and that's to keep it safe. Um, but you can't use that same snoo swaddle say that a million times fast in the crib they do make snoo or happiest baby which is like the parent company they do make swaddles that don't come with the wings so you could just use those if your baby likes them and is used to them i knew that i wanted to transition him out of a traditional swaddle into a sleep bag or sleep blanket because he's a big He's a big boy now. So I had those ready to go. That was like on my checklist of things that I needed to get ready and get prepared for um, in transitioning Theodore to his crib. Just keep that in mind if they are in a bassinet specific swaddle that you will need swaddles or sleep blankets, sleep bags um, for the crib. The last thing I just wanted to mention quickly is just know that the entire process is, is a lesson in knowing your baby, trusting your instincts, like with so many other things in motherhood. I really read Theodore's cues and trusted my gut. I trusted my gut that he was ready to transition into a crib and I really just kind of ripped the band aid off. Like after those two, three weeks of weaning him from the snoo, I definitely felt in my heart like, oh no, like 
he's he's not a little baby anymore he's transitioning about out of his bassinet which made me sad but i knew that it had to happen so we just did it we just did it there was no going back and forth between the crib and the bassinet it was just crib he will get used to it and he did and now he sleeps really well in his crib he really loves his crib and so i'm really happy with how easy that transition was and i think that all of those things that i mentioned really helped if you have any questions or any tips anything that i didn't mention definitely leave them down in the comments below don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye guys